Why is it unlikely that Iran would move to shut down the Strait of Hormuz? Wouldn't that be a likely reaction? Isn't that a lever that they could pull against the United States? Remember, the US is threatening to reduce uh, global Iranian oil imports to zero. There is the potential that they can, they will make this threat. They've made it already. But because of the military presence that we have there in the Strait of Hormuz, it seems that any kind of action there uh, would be limited. It would be over a short time period and we'd see a response. And so, yes, it could delay crude flows, uh, but we, it would be for a limited time. And so really it's more of a saber rattling coming through, a tit for tat that we're seeing both from the US and Iran. But it seems more of a war of words, at, at least from, uh, from Iran at this point. Hi, it's Jonathan Payne here in Sydney. I, I lived in Bahrain um, in the Persian Gulf for, for nine years and, and I recall very distinctly that the, um, the, really, the one factor that would uh, create all kinds of turmoil was a potential closure, as you've re uh, referenced, of the Straits of Hormuz. But as you know, the US Fifth Fleet is currently uh, is based in, in Bahrain. And, uh, and my friends uh, over there tell me that uh, they may well close the Straits of Hormuz, but um, you know, the, the repercussion or consequences for Iran would be, would be pretty unimaginable. What probability do you attach to Iran actually performing the unimaginable, as in closing the Straits of Hormuz? Jonathan, I think we're a number of steps away from that. We see with President Trump that he likes to escalate this rhetoric. And so I think we will have a few more steps to go yet until we get to that point. So the probability at this point is really rather low. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.